welcome back today we will discuss the changes to the syllabus uh, for 2023 onwards till at least 2025 for o levels physics 5054 so let's start with the changes to the syllabus content so let's get to the main part what are the topics removed or added so here we have the list of topics uh, removed first okay so what are the topics removed so first we have use of manometer so you won't be questioned about the use of manometer so you don't need to study about how a manometer works okay but remember parameter is still there you need to know how it works but not manometer only parameter so use of manometers excluded then we have transmission of pressure in hydraulic systems okay so what is transmission of pressure in hydraulic system all the those piston question uh, the questions which include the concept of piston the questions uh, which uh, in which uh, the uh, the car braking system and uh, the car braking system or the the question about the master cylinder or the question in which we have a smaller piston and a larger piston on the other side of the uh, hydraulic system and uh, the similar questions about basically the questions about the pistons and everything those questions are excluded so you won't be questioned about that so that's also excluded then we have principles of thermometry and uh, uh, practical thermometer so basically thermometers have been excluded you won't uh, be asked about uh, thermometers okay it is it is that simple then we have uh, latent heat all learning objectives removed except one Okay, so let's check what's that learning objective which still remains in the syllabus. Um, okay, we are too much back. Okay, so this thermal physics starts. Uh, yeah, here it is. In section 2.2.3 which is uh, page 17 of the syllabus in point seven it is written describe latent heat as the energy required to change the state of substance and explain in terms of particle behavior and the forces between particles so you only need to explain what is latent heat which is explained here as the energy required to change the substance of our sub, uh, so, sorry the energy required to change the state of a substance and explain in terms of the particles the molecules the uh, the particles like the movement of the atoms and all that okay the force between those uh, particles and you basically need to explain that other than that all concepts of latent heat have been excluded so yeah so that's done then we have methods of magnetization and demagnetization so basically they are the ways how you make a certain uh, substance magnet and how you demagnetize a substance so those methods are excluded and then we have magnetic screening that's also excluded then we have application of electrostatic charging so uh, basically it was the um, um, it was the application of static electricity like uh, spray painting the photocopier machine the 
electrostatic precipitator all those they have been excluded you don't need to uh, understand how they work or um, uh, what's uh, their purpose or basically the application of static electricity okay you don't need to uh, learn that anymore then we have the last thing which is being excluded and that is electronics and electronic system this is basically logic gates so all your logic gates and everything has been excluded so you don't need to study that now let's move forward to the topics added so here we can see more topics have been added than they have been removed so let's see what have been added so first we have motion okay motion is a subtopic sub okay uh, so motion motion additional learning objective so motion is there but it is being made more detail so that's done then we have balance and unbalanced forces additional learning objective okay means balance and unbalance forces were there but now they will be in a bit more detail equation for a spring constant okay which is k is equals to f upon x okay that equation has been added a spring constant is equals to force upon extension then we have momentum okay momentum is a new topic which has been uh, which has been added from the a levels physics okay it used to be there now it is here the absolute scale of temperature okay the, uh, the principle of thermometry were excluded and now this has been included the absolute scale then we have general properties of waves okay not much have been added only basics have been added a bit it was already there a bit has been added more simple magnetism and magnetic fields okay the magnetic fields and all that it has been more learning object uh, objectives have been added it was already there okay then we have the equation for two resistor being used as a potential divider okay that's new totally new and then we have reduction of radioactivity okay there used to be the um, method for detection of uh, radioactivity but now more has been added to the syllabus regarding that then we have the decay equation and then we have the biggest thing which has been added space physics or astrophysics this is a new thing which has been added from uh, this is a new topic it's a main topic it's not something small you can't take you can't take it lightly like it's a small subtopic it's a big topic okay it has been added they are in in short six units of the whole syllabus of o levels physics and this is basically a new unit it will contain multiple new chapters or subtopics you may say so space physics is not that difficult but still it's a new whole unit so that's a totally new thing uh, which has to do something with the igcc and a levels physics it was uh, it has been included, it has been added from there okay the content matches uh, a bit to that okay and then we have other sections ha uh, have had learning objectives added and removed however overall teaching for okay 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 this is not important section okay okay the details of assessment section have been updated for the explanation has been provided this include revision to the apparatus list okay list of symbols okay as uh, a new symbol list has been uh, there uh, the units of physical quantities and for presentation of data new list have been provided mathematical uh, the, a list of mathematical requirements have been provided a list of electrical symbols have been provided and a list of command words have been provided this is very important 
command word command word is important in every syllabus every subject you need to understand what the word means okay you can't just guess that what would describe mean and what would explain mean there are big differences between all the words okay so go and look at the list the command word list and uh, if talking about physics go and look at the list of electrical symbols it is also very very important and uh, go through the list of symbols and physical quantities you will find the syllabus on the cambridge international website i will always advise that whenever you are studying have the syllabus open beside you okay you should have a syllabus by the book so you are reading or you are uh, learning the content which is really in the syllabus you are not learning any thing extra or you are not missing out anything okay if you miss out a good uh, miss out a concept it will be problematic for you so always have a syllabus open whenever you are studying you are in the class or anywhere just have a syllabus so you know what you have learned yet and what you haven't okay so those were the changes to the syllabus content then we have changes to the assessment or the paper so uh, here they are saying that section b the optional questions have been removed from paper 2 and replaced with short answer and structured question so uh, earlier they used to be that there was a section b in the paper um, in which you could either select one question okay they gave you two options either this or this now you don't have any option you need to attempt all the questions in the paper next the number of marks of paper 2 have been increased from 75 to 80 okay so five marks have been increased in the paper 2 in uh, okay so in paper 3 the duration has been reduced from 2 uh, from 2 hours to 1 and a half hour okay 30 minutes less for the paper or oh, uh, 3 the practical test and uh, the number of marks for paper 3 have been increased from 30 to 40 okay 30 minutes have been decreased in the paper and 10 marks have been increased in the paper okay and then we have the atp paper the paper 4 alternate to practical in which the uh, the marks have been increased from 30 to 40 okay 10 marks increase again and uh, there's the last point here uh, paper 4 alternative to practical will now have similar structure to paper 3 practical let's to ensure consistency between the two papers that assess practical skills okay so in short there have been major additions in this uh, syllabus content M many things have been excluded as well make sure to go th through these changes again so you are not studying anything extra wasting your time or you are and you are studying what's the new addition in the syllabus for your paper and then we have all those command word list and the electrical symbol list and the physical quantities list and the list of symbols all those have been added which are really important go through them as well and then these are the changes that there won't be any section b there won't be any optional question in paper 2 uh, the marks of paper 2 are now 80 the time of paper 3 has been reduced to 1 hour and 30 minutes and the marks of paper 3 and paper 4 would be now 40 instead of 30 so these are the changes so thanks for watching like the video i would really appreciate that and share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you